Aba na chevi na Anthony Murima, Freda Mugambi na Eric Ogola ni kwa wabara cheko tegera na kuruoko na cha igoro yeki na e, kiokewe kire vosio uwe kigambere kenene e, kia milimani kwa mirelia uwe kira ni wa ayuo aetiguane bunge e, gati ya boku mwanchera Professor Abraham Kithure Kindiki kuhirali baga liya ya Joffrey Rigadi Kashawa kuna mkonyi bumura ibuense ase okonachua okuo kwa ruwe wa umu basorero ase kigambere kio Niko kore ngana neri chiko omo kwa njibu muna chi evi na omo nene justice filomena mwilu Abwata chinguru chio kwa chora e bench ya wana chevi na Eliko unengia na kuna cha kina kende gionsi The above provision creates three tires in which constitutional functions can be exercised That is by the substantive office holder Or by a person in an acting capacity Or by a person otherwise performing the functions of the office at any particular time. In our understanding, and against the background of the doctrine as stated, the drafters of our constitution were deliberate about ensuring that the administration of duties and the application of the constitutional provisions are continuous and seamless, recognizing the necessity for offices and their functions to be performed even in transitional or extraordinary circumstances. Such an interpretation avoids technicalities and vacuums that could disturb the functioning of state officers of public institutions, thereby promoting administrative efficiency and upholding the principles of constitutional governance. The provision reflects the broader principles of the rule of law and good governance, which require that state and public offices continue to function effectively even during periods of transition or when the substantive office holder is unavailable. It in turn promotes legal certainty and administrative efficiency by ensuring that all constitutional responsibilities are carried out without disruption. For this reason, the functions of Article 165 sub Article 4 in our view and in as far as the same relate to the office of the Chief Justice, also includes the Deputy Chief Justice acting in the capacity of the office of the Chief Justice or discharging its functions in an interim acting or auxiliary role. At this point in time, we also wish to point out that the Honorable Chief Justice empaneled this very bench on the 14th day of October, 2024 to deal with six constitutional petitions that inter alia challenged the first petitioner's impeachment process in the National Assembly. The said petitions are still current. On the 18th of October 2024, the Honorable DCJ impaneled the same bench to deal with constitutional petitions challenging the impeachment of the first petitioner in the Senate. To us, it is beyond far adventure that the Honorable DCJ can assign judges under Article 165, sub Article 4 of the Constitution, whenever he or she is discharging any of the constitutional functions on behalf of the Chief Justice. In this case, we do not find any fault in the Honorable DCJ assigning judges to sit in this bench, more so when the Honorable Chief Justice has not raised any red flag. Thank you.